Hey there, thanks for joining me. Today we are writing Be a Nice Human. This was a really good suggestion, and since I have a odd-shaped rock, I'm going to trace this around on paper first so I can kind of do a guideline of what I'm doing. And um, this way I can correct my mistakes before I use my pen, uh, so then I don't have to uh, start over again. I don't like the space here between nice and human, so I'm going to try to tighten that up a little bit on the rock, which I did, but it was still too much space, so we did a little bit of a fill design, and of course you can make this your own or just leave a space. Either way is up to you. It's your art. So I'm using a Posca 1MR. The R makes a big difference. The 1M is the one with the chisel tip that splashes all the time. I'm heavy handed and that does not work for me. So I do like the 1MR tip. It is superb. If you are shopping online, take a look at durablesupply.com. So as all my lettering videos go, I'm doing uh, my words and I'm trying to reposition my hands so you can see what I'm doing. Um, doing my words first and then I'm going back in and I'm darkening a, the thicker parts. Those are my downstrokes, the ones where my pen is going up or in the sideways motion. Those are staying thin. So I'm writing out my word here and then I'm going in to fix it up and emphasize some of the letters. So since the emphasis is on nice, I made this a little bit darker, a little bit bolder, and here's where a lot of people struggle. We were taught in school to do the uh, lowercase n, make it look like an m, m as in mouse. So I didn't want to do be a mouse human, <laughs> be a mice human. So that's why I do my N's and M's specifically this way so they don't look like the old school cursive. Doing this type of lettering, we kind of throw away all of the information that we learned as a young person doing cursive in school. And we're basically jazzing up some lowercase uh, regular writing. So just like I said with the M, um, you can see where I'm do just doing a regular M, but I'm going to drop that down a little bit and give it some bounce. So if I would have done it the old school cursive way, it would have had three lumps and it wouldn't have looked right. So keep that in mind while you're lettering if you're trying to get this style and this look. Of course, there is no right or wrong way. Now, I still have a big gap in between nice and human, so let's jazz this up a little bit. Add some fill design, give it a little bit of personality. Um, usually I color in my hearts, but I'm going to leave them open now intentionally. And once I'm going around here, I decided that it doesn't have enough, but I don't want to cover up this beautiful pink, so I'm going to add some dots too. Hearts and dots, that's me. <laughs> So this was a really good suggestion. I did a uh, lettering month post and I asked for some um, phrases and words that you would like to see and this was a super good suggestion. So thank you, Jackie, for suggesting it. Happy painting!